Hi, welcome to MediatorPodcast.com, a podcast and video series about mediation, negotiation, and collaboration. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I'm a valuation expert and divorce mediator in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we're talking about premarital agreements and protecting your assets before your second marriage or really any marriage with Susan Myers. Susan's been practicing family law in the Houston area since 1982, and she formed her own firm, Myers & Associates, in 2011. Her strength is being able to see options and alternate paths to achieve the realistic goals of her clients, and that is always needed in divorce and family law. Welcome. How are you, Susan? I'm very well. Thank you very much for the invitation. How do you use these agreements to protect the assets? Because it's not just putting it in writing. There's different levels to protecting the agreement, you know, even in the process. It's not about having just a piece of paper to really have it be defendable in court, right? Right. Well, it depends, again, going back to jurisdiction, in our agreements, we even provide if you fail to do your annual accounting, that's okay. It's not going to it's not going to annihilate the validity of this. And if you waive a couple of paragraphs and you do some commingling or things that you said you wouldn't do, we're not going to say the whole thing's invalid. That'll depend on your jurisdiction. It is you know, think about it from a business person's perspective. You have buy sell agreements when you have co-ownership. Think of a premarital agreement as a buy sell agreement. What do I do if I want out? How do we? How are we going to value all this? Or do we need a, an appraisal? Do we look at book value? Do we do? You know, how are we going to do it? And then stick with it because those agreements, just like a premarital agreement, can help guide the people in finding a solution that does not involve the court having the court system because the court will solve it. The court, they are completely capable of solving it, usually not in a way that people expect or want, but either direction. So if, if the big company is going to be valued at $200 million and the, other than the company, there's no real asset to give to the have not, then we get a judgment. How do we secure the judgment for that equalization payment? It, you know, it, it, why not have that as part of what we're going to do? Mm-hmm. It's a never ending um, game, not, and I don't mean to be flippant about it. It's a quest. That's it. It's a quest for figuring out what people have, what they would like for the solution to be, and can I document it to get to that solution? 